In 2005, PC Sharon Beshaniski responded to a robbery at a Bradford travel agent's. Her shift nearly finished, she was set to return home to celebrate her daughter's fourth birthday with a cake she'd already baked. Instead, she was murdered. Today, the ringleader was finally brought to justice, a day her family and the police force she served have waited for for nearly two decades. I would like to acknowledge the respect and dignity that Sharon's family have shown over the past 18 years. And I do hope that today's conviction goes some way in enabling them to move on with their lives. PC Sharon Beshanivsky lost her life in the most horrific of circumstances in the line of duty. She will always be remembered. Thank you. This is the moment Pirin Dita Khan, now 75, was brought in to be charged by West Yorkshire police after his extradition from Pakistan last year. Pirin Dita Khan, on the 18th of November 2005, murdered police constable Sharon Beshinivsky. He'd fled there shortly after the murder as the police began closing in on his accomplices. Do you wish to say anything? Uh, I'm not murdering anyone. While he was on the run, six men were sentenced for robbery, two for manslaughter, three for murder. It was here that PC Sharon Beshanivsky lost her life nearly two decades ago. And although Pirandita Khan didn't leave the safety of his lookout vehicle, the prosecution team said he was guilty of her murder because he was pivotal to the planning of the robbery and the knowledge that loaded weapons would be carried. Now, he told jurors that he didn't know weapons would be used. He said he thought the men would at most slap the staff to recover the money. The jury disagreed. He'd already pled guilty to robbery, but today they found him guilty of murder and firearms offences. This automatic gun, one of the weapons carried during the raid. The court heard that he knew the premises held money for cash transfers, having visited with a family member. It heard he'd told the other men they'd be able to steal up to £100,000. Instead, they made off with 5000 while he stayed in a lookout car. PC Beshinivsky and her colleague, both new police constables, were shot in the chest as the men left the shop. Her colleague survived, but PC Beshinivsky died almost instantly. She was the seventh female police officer to die in the line of duty. And at the mother of three's funeral, representatives from every force in the country formed a guard of honour. A few years later, the then Prime Minister Gordon Brown would speak of her dedication, professionalism and courage. Courage remembered today as her final killer is convicted.